G'day guys, Coffee here. Welcome back to another video on Astelia. Today, I would like to talk to you about enhancement and evolution. So there's a few things that we need to discuss that will hopefully save you from making the same mistakes that I did when I was leveling up. Okay, so I'm gonna cover the basics and then I'm gonna cover some of the more advanced stuff such as what kind of cost can you expect when you're trying to level a level 50 legendary gear versus a green uncommon level 50 piece of gear. Okay, so first of all, what is enhancement? Enhancement is when you use a currency or a stone, the consumable of the uh, weapon enhancement stone or the armor enhancement stone or the accessory enhancement stone, depending on the piece of gear that you're trying to evolve. So first of all, you press this button here, the enhance, and then you can place a piece of gear into it. And then you can see here, because this is an accessory, it's gonna cost me accessory enhancement stone. Depending on the quality uh, and the level, depends on how much uh, uh, gold it's going to cost me and also how much enhancement stone it's going to cost me. Okay, so before I go into this stuff, I'd like to show you guys what evolution is. So evolution is when you have an item that's under level 50 and you increase its uh, item level, you enhance it, sorry, up to plus four for an accessory. That's what it looks like for me so far every time it's upgraded and a plus seven for an armor or a weapon. So once again, you just go back to the enhancement, you place your weapon or you place your armor or whatever it is that you want to evolve into the slot. And after you've got it to plus seven, you won't be able to put it up any further. So a level 50 piece goes all the way up to plus 10 and under 50 is plus seven. That's the max, okay? You can safely enhance uh, under level 50 up until plus seven. You, it's possible to fail, but you won't go backwards, okay? Now, what you do with this chest piece here, as an example, what will happen is if I press evolve after I've got the plus seven, then it says here that it's gonna increase itself to level 37. So why this is so useful, guys, um, it's not because you know it's gonna get the 10 item levels. It's about saving the gear that you found in dungeons that's really useful. So in Astalia, with the gear that you've got, the heroic and the legendary gear and stuff, it's already an RNG chance in order to get the correct piece of gear for your character but you also need to get the correct stats on your character. So that's the tough bit. So if you happen to find yourself a heroic necklace that's level 20 and it's got the right stats for your character, you don't want to give that up. So you make sure you enhance that, evolve it, and then it will get 10 item levels and it will be extremely useful for you throughout your whole leveling process because the difference in power for a heroic and a, um, uh, a heroic, say for example, versus an uncommon or a rare, is dramatic you know there's, there's a big gap there so you definitely want to have your higher quality ones all the way through leveling process if you can but it depends on how many enhancement stones and stuff you have okay so i've covered the uh the evolution you should understand that now and make sure you guys do it because i didn't and i regret it uh now we're going to talk about the quality and the level of different pieces and what kind of costs you can have so re-click the enhance button if I see, uh, for example, my level 18 purple sword here, you can see it's 1700 weapon enhancement stone and 5000 gold. Now that's only level 18, so it's not really a fair comparison versus my level 50 legendary. Um, but if I put my level 50 armor in, even though they're different types of stones and they use different quantities, you can see that there's a dramatic difference. That's 7000. Now the weapon takes more than the armor usually. So what that means is that the level difference is huge. Um, you want to be saving these stones until you get to level 50, ideally, uh, because they are very valuable and they're hard to come by even later on. In fact, you have to do a lot of farming in order to get these enhancement stones. All right, so as you can see, that's 50,000 gold. If you guys, to break it down for you, for 50,000 gold for just a heroic piece, and it can go up to level 10, Right, that's absolutely minimum 500,000 gold, or oh, ESPA they call it, uh, 500,000 ESPA. But you've also got to take into account that you're gonna fail a lot. Uh, when you get to like plus seven, it's like a 20% chance in order to actually go up. But you've also got a chance in order to go backwards. I've had that happen multiple times, and on a couple of plus sevens, you know, I've used, I've tried to enhance it uh, 10 times as an example. You know, on over different pieces, and it doesn't get past. It doesn't get past plus seven. It's very difficult, and it's in a very, very expensive process. But it's worth it because the stats, what you get, the gain on like a legendary piece is you know 
it's it's small but once you've got it to plus seven or plus ten it's quite large overall okay so let's have a look at the um let's have a look at some of the accessories so we have the gebra's ring the gebra's earring sorry this is only 2200 for uncommon okay it's very cheap now just to show you guys here it doesn't actually increase in price at all this is the gebra ring that's the gebra earring but that's plus seven it stayed the same price the entire time but if i chuck it onto the rare one it jumps straight up to 1300 and 7800 so the prices jump up quite a lot now what's the difference between this armor and this armor well usually it depends on the stat that you need for your character but to give you an example you know this is plus 37 and plus 36 i can see down the bottom and that's plus 34 and plus 36 uh, 34 across three different skills so the rare is a lot more valuable than the uncommon but then if you check to the purple usually in most cases uh, the heroic will be far substantially stronger once again versus the rare and much much stronger than the uncommon so that's why the uh, heroic the purple is now worth 4600 but the rare was only 1300 you get the point at as you go up not in level not only level but quality the price drastically increases so expect to do a lot of farming if you want to be doing this stuff and enhance all your gear make sure you got the right gear from the start enhance all your gear all the way up to a higher level so let's have a look at some of the weapons uh it's pretty much the same deal with the jewelry you know 629 for the weapon enhancement for uncommon 2200 7700 and 27000 so 27000 if you haven't played Estalia. That number doesn't mean anything to you but to put it into context if i were to sacrifice a legendary piece i would only get say twenty five thousand. um let's have a look actually so i'm just going to dismantle uh the, i'm going to dismantle this piece right here and that's given me that's only given me thirteen thousand of its type so it was um an accessory and i believe you need less of those in order to increase your gear so that's useful let's have a look so i'll chuck that in that's 16,000 and the weapon was 26,000. Okay, I'm not going to I'm not going to dismantle my weapon because they're hard to come by. Um but yeah, 16,000. So it, that would mean if I were dismantling my weapon, I should get give or take 22,000 if it's got the same percentages. But it really explains to you guys how many more legendary weapons you're going to need to break down to enhance your weapon all the way up to plus 7 because you need minimum plus seven to be able to use that weapon in fusion. Now, what's fusion? Well, fusion is going to be another topic for a different video because there's a lot to talk about in that video as well. Okay, the last two things I want to stress uh, is that, remember after plus four, you can start failing. So feel free to upgrade a weapon to level three and then just leave it there until it's no longer useful. Um, and that way you're not investing too heavy into a weapon that you may end up replacing at a later date. And as well as you have to remember when you upgrade your pieces of gear and you eventually dismantle that gear, if you do, you don't get a refund for what you've invested. You only get what the base would be for that actual piece of gear. So don't invest unless you believe you're going to keep that weapon for a very, very long time. A quick bit of self-promotion, guys. If you happen to need a tunneler, a service that can reduce your ping when you're connected to games, especially when the routing for your ISP is poor, then consider using exit lag. Weave and I both use exit lag to be able to connect to games through NA and stuff for the servers because we are an Australian and it really lowers our ping. So if you guys need that, consider use, using our URL link down below. It helps Weave and I. It supports us. We get a small commission each time one of you guys use that link. And we get to keep doing what we want to do, and that's create guides for use. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and consider joining us on Discord or our other social media channels to get the latest information on MMOs.